Hi everyone and welcome to another Tech Saturday with Eric and Keith. It's been like three, two and a half, three months since we did the Alexa video. Right. Whoops, I don't want to trigger your oh. devices. We're going to say oh. that a lot in this video. So, <laughs> sorry if we trigger your, your devices. But, we're going to do a quick little update here just to see what you find useful and uh, what you think of it a few months later. Okay. See if, the, see if they should buy it. Alright guys, well let's get into it. Roll that intro. All right, guys. Well, this one we're gonna try and keep super short for you. Just want to hit the highlights here. You know, we'll, we'll put two minutes on the clock down here. See what happens. See what happens. We'll see. We'll get close. We'll get close. So anyway, let's throw it over to Eric. And uh, do you think this is uh, Alexa's kind of like a good deal, even you know, two months later? Do you, you find it useful? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I think uh, I didn't think uh, I would use it as much as I have, but I use it daily, interacting with it. So, like, what do you do daily? You, like, oh, a lot of the time. And the best built in feature that I like to do, even though your phone can do it too, but I tell her to set a timer. And you know, it's so easy when you're like doing something at the stove, you can just tell her to set a timer. Yeah, that's super handy. And also, you uh, you have like routine set up right too for like, oh, lights. yeah. So, you know, in the morning, I tell her good morning and she turns on the lights and tells me a fun fact and then the weather. So, it's kind of, kind of a neat thing. But you also use something called skill. Do like you want to like tell tell the people what the skills are? And... Yeah, so it was a learning curve at first starting out with Alexa because I didn't like I figured everything would be baked in. You just like click the button, but apparently you have to enable Alexa skills. A skill is like a um, you know like if you want to listen to XM radio or something like satellite radio, you would have to download, go into the app, and you search for skills and then download that. And then I also have like LED strips on the back of my TV that were a skill because it's not a uh, baked in device for the smart hub so I had to download a skill for that. Would you say this is still a buy? Because you know you sort of like mess around with my Google Home too a little bit over the house. Yeah. I like the the Google Home like has a cool like screen. ALXA has one but it's it's like more of a communication device like a phone type of video phone and I don't think anyone's ready to have a all always on video phone in their house right now. I still think that uh, I made the good a good choice with ALXA. All right, so we're getting a strong recommend still. Strong recommend. All right, guys. Well, do you think that was two minutes? That probably was. I mean, that was pretty fast. Yeah. If you have any questions or whatever, just drop them down in the comments, and Eric can uh, let you know. Try to answer them about if you have anything about the skills or how to set up a routine or anything like that. Just drop them in the comments down below, and either Eric will answer them in the comments, or maybe we'll do like another video if we get like a whole bunch of requests. <laughs> yes, right. Like, how do I do this? What's the best way to do that? You know, type we of can thing. do like a screen record type of thing. Yeah. Right. We'll just do that for you guys. If, if like there's enough questions down in the comments about what to do with it. All right, guys. Well, this was just a little bit of an update video. Let me know down in the comments if you liked it. If you liked the quick update, the quick hitter like we did here. Also, don't forget, we got the t-shirts out there. We got Spreadshirt, and this is uh, Teespring. It's got like the logo on the back instead of on the front, which I kind of like that a little bit better. And I wish I wish Spreadshirt would like allow me to put the logo on the front and the images on the back, but it doesn't really do that right now. So we're using Teespring for that, but I'll drop all the links for the merch down below. Also, don't forget, we got Patreon if you want to help support the channel and uh, keep these videos going here. We'd really appreciate that. We'll put the link for that down below as well. Also, guys, uh, don't forget to smash that that like button 2019 style yes leave us a comment let us know uh you know if you have any questions and then share this video that that helps us out a lot too it sure does all right guys well thanks a lot for watching peace and love